new videos every day. Today I'm going to show you how to clean your fish tank so you have happy and healthy fish. You are going to need a bucket, water conditioner, aquarium salt, the appropriate sized clean filter for your water pump, a suction tube, and a clean source of water. Step 1. The first thing you want to do is remove the lid and the light from the aquarium. You might want to put the light behind the aquarium so that you may still have illumination while you clean. Step 2. Now you're going to want to unplug any filters or heaters that you may have in the aquarium. Step 3. Now you want to remove any plants or decorations from the aquarium. Keep in mind, these are wet, so you want to place them on a surface that will not be damaged by the water. Step 4. Now you are actually going to remove some of the old water from the fish tank. The first thing you want to do is place your bucket in front of the tank. Next, you want to grab your suction hose. Take the large end of the tube and stick it in the aquarium. Let that fill up with water. Now, take the small end of the tube and give it a suck to get the water flowing. Now be careful, you don't want to get any fish water in your mouth, so hurry up and put the small end in the bucket. Step 5. With the large end of the suction tube still in the aquarium, you're going to tilt it to a 45 degree angle. Now the next thing you're going to do is drag the suction tube across the bottom of the aquarium. Just like you're mowing your lawn or vacuuming your carpet, you're going to drag the tube across the bottom of the surface in long, wide strides. You're going to do this until the entire surface has been covered and cleaned. Step 6. Keep a close eye on your bucket to make sure that it doesn't overflow. When your bucket begins to become full, remove the large end of the suction tube from your tank and allow the tube to drain. When your bucket becomes full, carefully take the bucket to a sink, a toilet, or a bathtub and empty it. Now that some of the water has been removed from the tank, this is the perfect opportunity to remove any algae that has grown on the sides of the tank. An easy way to do this is to take a clean filter and rub it on the inside walls of your tank. This will clean off any algae that has stuck to it. Depending on the size of your tank, you may or may not want to remove more water from your tank. It is generally recommended that you do not do more than a 50% water change. This is because a drastic change in the water may upset or stress out the fish. Because I have a larger tank, I am going to suction out another bucket of water. The next step is to replace the water that we have removed from the tank. You will need aquarium salt and water conditioner. Be sure to know how big your bucket is. Also, make sure to read the back label of your water conditioner very carefully. This will remove any chlorine or other chemicals that may be harmful to your fish. In addition to water conditioner, you will also need aquarium salt. Freshwater fish do need a certain amount of salt in their water. Place the bucket under a water source as the bucket is filling up and put the required amount in the bucket of water while it is still being filled. Carefully carry your bucket of water back to the tank. Be sure not to spill it on the carpet. With both hands, place the bucket on the side of the aquarium. Now slowly pour the water into the aquarium. If you pour too fast, you risk damaging the fish. Continue to refill the bucket with water 
using water conditioner and aquarium salt. Do this until your tank is full. Next, carefully replace your decorations and plants inside of the tank. Rearrange them so they're pretty. Next, remove any old filters from your pump and replace them with new clean ones. Now you are ready to replace the light and lid on top of the tank. And now you can turn your filters on. And the last step, enjoy your fish and their happy clean home. In future videos, we're going to be doing a series on aquarium fish. Find out which aquarium fish are the coolest. In a future video, facts about left-handed people and what makes them different. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new today. Please rate my video and let me know what you think. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And I'll see you next time. Bye. So you see that yellow button over there? Kind of matches my outfit. You better click on it and subscribe or I'm going to sting you.